Hey guys, Jago na po, Keepsakes. And I'll, di- uh, I'll give this a uh, last update now before the year ends. It's already New Year's Eve and siguro ang dami na nangyayari. But before New Year comes, gusto kong i-share sa inyo yung mga past episodes, past segments ng Animazing Community that I did with the Animazing Show. So, wala na pa tumpik-tumpik pa. Here we go! Hey guys, Jago ni po. Welcome to my segment here at the Animazing Show. For my opening salvo, I'll stay away from talking about just anime and then talk about the events that made me this season. Well, it's a long season already. It's it's a pandemic, of course, where everyone's asked, required, forced to stay at home. And there's no mass gatherings starting from February up to the rest of the year. So... What's the alternative? Online events. Online events. I've been to many online events and so far the experience are... Uh, it, it cannot replace the actual anime con experience. But the experience that I got, I, st- I can still interact with people. I can still uh, see photos. I can still uh, get uh, insights. And I've been attending to more panels than I did. I've been attending to more anime events than I did. Uh, when uh, these uh, measures were not yet in place. So, for uh, starters, my last event was Anime Idol Convention. And then, done. No more events. That's quarantine. Quarantine starts. And we've spent our time producing content that can go run until perhaps the rest of the year. For now. So, it didn't. But then again, there's more content because I'm attending anime cons online. So, that was that's quite an experience. And recently, I just did a panel, an international panel at Kurokon Online, which I'm very happy and I'm very thankful that they gave me the chance. So, it's on my YouTube. Do catch that one out. Also, there's uh, other anime cons like the Virtual Crunchyroll Expo, the currently uh, idol call uh, idol con this is, it's being currently held as we speak anime expo online uh, just recently ava station which really most recently uh, also creator super stream and then isekai con you know i've uh, hopped from online cons uh, from indonesia to the us and uh, in some cases canada and you see uh, these events while they cannot, again, they cannot replace the actual anime con experience, physical anime con experience, they have allowed everyone who has access to internet to continue enjoying their anime uh, fan gasping or uh, uh, anime fandom. No? So the lesson here is that, again, as long as you have an internet connection, you'll be fine. Stay at home measures in place. Just keep safe. Uh, keep yourselves safe. And go attend an anime con online. So there's a lot of anime cons that are running online. And in the Philippines, we also have like uh, the virtual cos meet uh, with cosplay.ph organizing it. It's on this weekend. Uh, it's, all, it's actually this weekend as we record this. No? So I hope to uh, see you there. And in case you've missed it, there's more anime cons that will be happening online. You just need to... Adjust your time because again, Western Hemisphere. The, uh, for example, the bookmark that I have, as long as it's in Eastern time, I can go back to it by 12 hours. So it's 10 in the morning in Manila and 10 in the evening in Eastern time. So yeah, uh, really, really good times. Hey guys, Jago Nipo. Welcome back to our amazing community. And on this segment, my second one, for the Animazing Show, eh, pag-uusapan natin yung dalawang distributor ng anime sa Southeast Asia na uh, they've been distributing anime through YouTube. It's Muse and Annie One. So, uh, we've done this panel called Case Studies on YouTube-Based Anime Distribution Model in Southeast Asia, which was then part uh, presented at Kurokon Online Volume 2 last September 27. So, marami tayong tinalakay dito. Of course, the background, eh, Eh, di ba, case anime, case manga, wala na, shutdown na, finish na. Ngayon, of course, 
kung saan-saan magkukumahog ang mga tao, mga anime fans, kagaya natin, na manood ng anime, they will watch anywhere, even if it's uh, with the risk of being having your account or identity stolen, having viruses, having malware, at kung ano-ano pa. Eh, again, this uh, shutdown is part ng... Siguro sabihin natin, this was said to be part ng stricter copyright measures sa Japan. Pero ang sabi ni Kiss Anime admin, mga, mga mods ng Kiss Anime, is basically, ay yung copyright holders, sinaton kami. No, hindi to related sa kung ano man na sinusulong ngayon ng Japanese diet, ano, yung uh, Japanese parliament about sa copyright. So, okay, introduce natin. Ito mga dalawang... YouTube channels na to, Muse and Annie One. Uh, Muse is currently number three at Social Dates list of top 250 YouTube channels in Singapore, kung saan sila nakabase, and Muse Communications ang may hawak nito. Meanwhile, Annie One is only operated by MediaLink. So, isa to sa mga distributor ng mga live action series, and I believe they also distribute anime here sa Pilipinas. Not sure kung... Kailan? They've, they have uh, licenses here in the Philippines, if I'm not mistaken. And maraming mga pinapalabas sa mga recent anime itong Muse Asia and Annie One, depende na rin sa season. Pero uh, kung babalikan natin, itong quarantine na inabot tayo ng quarantine nga, no? eh, ang daming nangyari. And of course, bored ang tao, they need entertainment. So, tumaas ng 115% ang surge, nag-surge ang mga bumibisita sa Netflix, mga streaming services, especially Netflix, it got, uh, it got a lot of share since these stay-at-home measures were taken into place. Pero, of course, uh, may mga comparisons tayo dito between Annie Plus, uh, uh, Crunchyroll, iFlix, Netflix, Annie One in News Asia. May mga advantages and disadvantages yan. You got to watch my panel. It's on YouTube, really. Uh, youtube.com slash diagonay. Now, we move on to the online survey of 191 anime viewers in Southeast Asia. And from what I've learned with this survey that I have conducted for the panel, 67.5% still watch anime on illegal streaming sites, pero 78% of respondents, again, 191 yun, mostly from the Philippines, they watch anime on YouTube. So, nakikilala to dahan-dahan. Pero, 3 out of 4 people who can access legal anime on YouTube can watch the platform. Meaning, may one-fourth pa na natitira para isaturate ng mga distributor na ito. Overall, we can say na mostly positive ang mga responses dito. And really, itong ano, ang isa, isang huling tanong na tinanong natin sa kanila is, basically, oh, susuportahan nyo ba yung YouTube as a platform for anime distribution? Yes na yes sila. That's 99.5% percent ng mga respondents. And again, maraming mga promoters dito, 50.79% compared to 14.66% na medyo negative dito and 34.03% na okay lang, so-so. So, in summary, nakakatulong ang YouTube platform to distribute anime legally and of course, let's all support these legal distributors of anime dahil again, if uh, in the future maybe gusto nyo mag super chat tayo ng mga anime characters why not hey guys Diego ni po welcome back sa animizing community it's been 3 episodes at itong pangatlong usapan natin siguro marami nakaka-relate dito virtual youtubers it's like watching anime without scripts ang subtitles delayed ang lahat ng ginagawa ad lib so nauso tong virtual youtuber uh, basically, it's a form of escapism, and then there's lots of programs na nabuo just to support the virtual YouTuber community na who wants to be a VTuber, here are the devices, here are the tools, here are the things. Marami mga uh, resources dyan eh. For example, the virtual reality show, Fia, uh, discusses about virtual reality, inside virtual reality. That's, that's her motto, that's the title of the show, that's her show. And she's telling us more about the tools, the tips, the tricks of the trade. And uh, that's something na hindi mo makikita sa mga common na uh, VTubers ngayon, ano? So, then again, uh, moving back to 
the VTubers, eh, on the other side, ako as an audience, syempre, gusto ko supportan yung VTuber na gusto ko. And then, Super Chat came. YouTube Super Chat allowed Philippines to send cash to their favorite creators. And the most minimum part of it is 25 pesos. Walang text. If you want to say something, uh, limited characters, one time lang, lalabas lang yan sa scroll, uh, sa chat, sa live chat, uh, you'll, you'll pay 50 pesos. And you see, depende sa timing, you can get your VTubers' attention. Uh, for example, Kiro Koko, she's still uh, on suspension, pero through the super chat, I found out na she is pork adobo gang. Pork adobo gang. So she's she knows pork adobo and really it's interesting ano um setting aside the issues that have plagued the VTuber community especially the fans the fans and the idol culture no kasi VTuber culture uh some are chill most are chill rather pero of course there are popular uh, VTubers na being treated as idols and with the same treatment as idols na positive, uh, for example, yung sinasuportan sila, uh, people buy, buy their stuff, their merch, uh, people listen to their songs. Of course, nandyan din yung mga concerns ng mga fans, air quotes talaga, na di ba makikita nyo mga issue ngayon. Of course, doxing, and then yung mga recent scandals, Hololive ang pinakasikat yan. So, I stop, kind of stop watching, watching Hololive for now. Ano? Kasi, I went there to be entertained. No matter what you say, you went there to be entertained. Kasi, stressful na nga tong quarantine na nangyayara sa atin. And then, these things happen. So, good lord, saan ka ba pupunta? Well, there's another option. Niji Sanji, and then the independent VTubers. So, ang dami mga choices. Huwag tayong pumunta lang sa Hololive lang, ano. And, what I can recommend you, some channels, ano, uh, for example, Lyrica from Canada, uh, while she said na she's going to limit her stuff uh, streaming online, eh, she's still one of the active uh, Filipino VTubers based in Canada that I know and people love. Because imagine, 69-year-old, part of the 77 Magical Girl class, yet she looks like 18, 19, 20, looks like, looks like one of us. <laughs> So, that's one. And then there's Kahiru. And then there's Inukai Purin. Yung mga Filipino VTubers. So, marami na rin mga sumusupot. Like Pearl of the Orient. Um, the Den Deep Sea. And then, ano pa ba? Uh, P.O.P. Well, well uh, marami na eh. So, oh, I only have one minute left. Uh, sige, to, short, uh, to uh, sum up the story short. VTubers, yan na po ang current trend ngayon. And I hope within these 5 minutes or less, eh, makwento ko sa inyo kung ano experience ko sa VTubers. So, comment your thoughts in the comment section. Babasahin ko yan. And pag nasulpot natin yan, reply ako dyan. Hey guys, Jay Agone po. Welcome back sa ating Animazing Community. Let's talk about the voice acting industry. Ano? Ang daming mga voice actors sa Japan. And they're doing... The, this voice acting, not just for anime, but also for uh, dubbed uh, series as well. Yung mga galing sa US na mga series, they also dub it into Japanese, even movies, and so on and so forth. Um, voice acting industry, there's a lot of people that I can mention. Kana Hanazawa, May Nakahara, Aoyuki, the Aoyuki, and then Yosei Sugumatsuoka, si Tetsuya Kakihara, there's also, ang dami, ang dami, and there's a lot. And uh, I can go through it, pero let's talk about Japanese voice actors who have transcended to another level by reprising their role for the English dub. The news is, Karin Kagami has announced that she will reprise her role in the D4DJ series as Maho Akashi in the English dub, knowing that uh, she can speak Japanese and she can speak English quite well. Ano? She grew up speaking English naman. Uh, I believe international schools taught her. So yeah, uh, it's it's a good development. And this is far from what have uh, happened before. This is not the first time that this will happen in history. As far as we know, there's this voice actress named Miyuki Sawashiro, one of the sexiest voices in the industry, mind you. 
And she reprised her role as Puchiko in the Leave It to Piyoko OAV in the DJ Charat movie in 2005. Some say that uh, some voice actresses are inspired by this uh, DJ Charat uh, audition, ano? And that includes Karen Kagami. Uh, it's been written that she was inspired to do voice acting with the DJ Charat series. Siguro nakita niya si Miyuki Sawashiro, narinig niya si Miyuki Sawashiro na she's doing uh, this role as Puchiko and uh, she, she, she did well. Ha? She did well uh, in the English dub. I listened to it. And ang galing. She, ano, if, if, you, if you've seen Simple Gear, Miyuki Sawashiro had a Texan accent there. Texan. Really. So, I shouldn't be surprised. Pero, ang galing. Again, that's one of the sexiest voice actresses uh, by voice. Ha? One of the sexiest voices in anime. Iba pa to kay, uh, kay ano ha? Uh, kay, dun sa boses, I forgot that. Pero, sige, moving on from that. <laughs> Maik silang oras natin dito. But then again, meron pa tayo mga voice actresses na who did their the roles for the English dub, from the Japanese dub, such as Mari Ijima, for the ADV Films English dub of Super Dimensional Fortress Macros. Well, uh, in the US, some will know it, this this uh, Macros thing as Robotech because of licensing. Pero ADV Films has distributed the Super Dimensional Fortress Macros uh, as is. Ano? So, uh, uh, Lin Min May, voiced by Mari Ijima in the Japanese uh, edition. Then, she went on to voice it again for the English dub. Pero... Moving on, marami pa man eh. There's, there's still a, a lot of that eh. Of course, let's not forget the voice of Pikachu, Ikue Otani. And she's been doing the voice of Pikachu for so long, so long. Talagang, uh, it's synonymous with her. Kahit sabihin natin, she voiced Chopper, she voiced uh, like Morgana from Persona 5. Talagang, talagang, yun talaga eh. We go back to Pikachu. So, that's it for my minute and uh, I think... I'm a less than two minutes short or less than a minute short. Hey guys, Jayagoni po. Welcome back sa ating Animazing community. Recently lang, binalita sa Anime News Network. Ito, binabasa ko. No? Uh, this was News Story, November 30, 2020. So, around this time, we have a one-week break. Pero ito na nga, nag-breaking news to. Nikkei, Sony nears acquisition of Crunchyroll. So, ano pong ibig sabihin niyan? Nearing acquisition of Crunchyroll. Well, Sony is making its own anime monopoly talaga. It's very blatant with this incoming acquisition. Kasi kita nyo, Sony has a lot of properties already. They have Aniplex. They have Aniplex of America. Wakanim. Madman Anime Group. They also have Funimation. Funimation, ladies and gentlemen. And... You know, itong mga uh, companies under Sony, setting, uh, of course, hindi, hindi pa dyan tapos. Ano? We also have Fate Grand Order. So, Sony's really making its own anime monopoly, pero I don't think na it will be relevant to us here, especially in Southeast Asia, kasi they recently sold their television, cable television assets to an investor. So, it's called KC Global Media and now they're, they're uh, operating Animax. So, yun yung uh, situation dito. Well, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking maybe this uh, anime monopoly is res reserved lang sa West. I don't know. Like, Sony has footprints all over the globe. So, pinakita nila yan through their Funimation con. And with their upcoming acquisition of Crunchyroll, na dati nagpartner sila, tapos nagbreak sila, tapos ngayon kukunin na niya, parang ampon ng ng uh, tatay ni Funimation, parang ganun ano. Does it does it have relevance in our context, especially sa in sa Pilipinas? Mabibiyayaan ba tayo ng mga Sony titles, na mga ano, mga Funimation titles sa Crunchyroll dito sa Pilipinas? Abangan ang susunod na kabanata, really. Kasi hindi natin mapipredict ng mga bagay-bagay na to. Well, you know, ang dami mga nangyari. Well, this one is no exception. So yeah, let's hope and pray na mapansin naman ni Sony itong Southeast Asia. Kasi after all of the things that have happened, 
AVEX and Sanrio have partnered to have a Southeast Asian division. So, AVEX ang mag operate sa Sanrio dito sa Southeast Asia. And it's going to be based in Singapore. So, yeah, more on business stuff. May relevance ba ang Sanrio dito? Yes, we still have, it's, it does still have relevance. Kasi Sanrio yan, it's Hello Kitty, it's Kero 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 Pibatsmaru, even Agretsko. Agretsko is a Sanrio brand. So, yan yung mga bagay na nag revolve dito sa mundo natin so far. And despite all of these things, buhay pa rin tayo. And nakakapanood pa rin tayo ng anime. We just hope na maging mas maganda pa ang experience natin with these updates from the business side of things. Hey guys, Jay Gone po. Welcome back sa ating Animation Community. Now, there's something different in my setup right now. And yes, I'm doing this recording at night time. So, hapon pa lang. Para tayo na sa ibang time zone. But yeah, uh, while I'm focusing on finishing all the stuff on my work, ano, eh, I saw this news that MPA, the Motion Pictures Association of America, the law their lawyers are trying to shut down Nya.si, which is basically the Pirate Bay of Anime. There is something to talk about, uh, always, uh, about the anime community, the animation community, pero this, this one, para is a perennial problem na eh. Piracy. Okay, my thoughts on piracy is that walang magpa-pirate kung available yung access sa mga fans. Years and years of piracy had taught us that we can explore better series than the ones being broadcast on satellite television, on uh, on broadcast television, ano? Yeah, basically, yung mga ano yung paulit-ulit na anime sa local TV and all that. Eh, when it comes to the internet, there's more. Eh, Jan natin natutunan yung mga deconstruction, yung mga madoka. Ng mga, ano pa bang, there's a lot eh. Well, of course, easy kai. Have you ever seen a new anime series being broadcast on TV nowadays? Iinan lang, or most of the time, wala talaga, wala talaga. It's, it's, it's a really niche resource. Well, then you got Netflix, yes. Pero, yung scope ng Netflix is either you have to access proxy or you have to really get go somewhere else just to get the anime title if it's not available on Netflix or no. Well, Netflix is now becoming a powerhouse in the anime industry. Um, they, they did much better than Amazon. They did much, much better. In the context of Southeast Asia, they did much, much better than Crunchyroll. And last time we talked about Crunchyroll being acquired by the Sony Anime Mafia, no? Uh, I mean, cartel, I mean, yeah, the, the Sony Anime Monopoly. Yeah, and now, we talk about MPA lawyers trying to shut down Nya.si. Eh, of course, uh, we saw Nya's reaction. Uh, basically, Anime Cartel. Ako din, nagtaka, Anime Cartel. So, there's now Anime Monopoly and there's now an Anime Cartel, which... Which, I don't know. Ang opinion ko kasi sa mga cartel is that sila-sila rin ang kumikita. Well, that's on my standpoint as a consumer na well, sa pwede natin sabihin na yung mga anime animation artists, yung mga nasa animation industry, hindi rin yan kumikita uh, ng mataas pag may dagdag na trabaho because of, uh, of course, may mga license source and all that and napakahirap na it's, it's easy to assume that the industry and not the animators themselves yung mga nasa baba talaga ng pyramid yung nakikinabang pagdating sa mga cartel na ito it's easy to assume like that and that's how I'm going there no? it's really easy to assume so bago pa ako maubusan ng oras dito uh, my opinion on this case is yung uh, pag shutdown ng niya, they will never shut it down because they really said it very clear. To briefly address this, we have no plans to shut down 
or quit at this time, if we do choose to shut down eventually, we will make a public database dump for any successor entity to use. We will not be just disappearing like our predecessor site, leaving everyone else on their own. Remember, this is the second iteration of Nya, the Pirate Bay of anime, as they say. And yeah, uh, to, to cap this off, ano, sabi ng Nya sa Twitter, Do we sell cocaine now in your head canon? What the hell is an anime cartel? Please limit your fanfic posting in public. It's giving me second-hand embarrassment. <laughs> But really, it's embarrassing na wala, walang paraan para ma- makapanood ng anime na very rare. And then, these people are trying to cut it off. Hey guys, welcome back sa ating animizing community. Jaya Gonoy po. And I have here three pieces of important information. So first up, MISC Foundation plans to purchase majority stake in SNK 33.3% to the tune of 216.5 million US dollars. So basically, MISC Foundation of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, basically Saudi Arabia, has majority stake na sa SNK, which has gone through a troubled past, filed for bankruptcy, changed its name to SNK Playmore, going back to the name of SNK, popular for Neo Geo series of arcade uh, software, hardware, and all that. And now, after being in the hands of like uh, majority uh, Chinese stakeholders, now they're under the hands of majority Saudi uh, stakeholders. No? So yeah, uh, well, you can imagine how a majority stake in a Japanese video game company from the foundation of the crown prince of Saudi Arabia will think of and leave it to your imagination you know? also Viacom CBS this is a big conglomerate a major conglomerate in the US sells its Simon and Schuster uh, print uh, labeled to Penguin Random House to the tune of US the 2.175 billion so that's two billion US dollars basically uh, aside from this uh, acquisition Penguin Random House already has its own distribution services to like say Kodansha Comics, Vertical, Square Enix, and Dark Horse so adding the Viz uh, lineup of manga and light novels to the Penguin Random House uh, publishing services distribution will be something kasi sanay na ang tao na Viz is different from like uh, the other brands and uh, some are fearing for a monopoly ng manga and light novel imprints but actually we sa tingin, sa tingin ko it won't affect us because first and foremost uh, first and foremost we import manga from Viz yes pero regardless it's still Viz eh. that's on me yeah? that's on my point of view Above all this, Association of Japanese Animation released its Anime Industry Report 2020. Its preliminary reports has been released just this Friday and it will be released around the latter part of November. Pa. And it states a 15% rise in profit sa anime industry to 2.5112 trillion yen. That's around 24.18 billion US dollars. In 2019, so above all this, tomatas naman na kaya pa yung anime industry. We're not sure about the industry this 2020, kasi yun dami ng yare. Hey guys, Jago ni po. Welcome back sa ating animazing community. And I wish I could talk about more about this animazing community, pero let me reserve this time to talk about virtual YouTubers ulit. This is my part two, so bear with me. Kasi hindi na tayo move on sa virtual YouTubers. This is the future right here. Virtual entertainers like this one lady right here. Her name is Calliope Mori. Mori Calliope or Mori Calliope if you're speaking English Karabao, no? On the stream, she just spent one heart, 30 minutes, begging Atlas to let her play Persona 3. That's something. Siguro, yesterday, we watched this grand collaboration between an Indonesian VTuber by the name of Muna Hoshinova and her, one of uh, siguro yung senpai niya, senior niya 
which is Usada Pekora from Hololive in Japan. And that was an absolutely fabulous, amazing, heartwarming moment. As you see these two have their first collaboration na almost didn't happen if not for Muna's colleague Yofi, Ayrani U15, pushing her to do it, to do it with her. Kasi there's language barriers eh. Considering na Indonesia is one hell of a country na also totally immersed in Japanese culture so much that Japan's been giving them blessings like Bima Satre Garuda and uh, ano pa ba? Uh, yeah, yeah, Hololive Indonesia, which of which Muna is in. And you know, fabulous moment. Fabulous moment. They built the Osada Corporation headquarters in around two hours with initial plan, with an initial plan in their mind. And then the rest of the time that they spent, they spent it on wholesome race. So they went on in race. So that's a heartwarming moment. And I suggest you watch those streams. All right? Just search for Pecora Muna right this moment and you can see the collection of clips that you can watch about that big collaboration. I say big because it's something never before seen in history. I'm 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 not I'm not just saying this for kicks. Also, if I may tell you as well na there is this new group called V Shoujo, V as in virtual. This was established before November ends, and this is composed of already established virtual personalities like Project Melody, Nyaners, and Zentreya, and there's Iron Mouse, yeah, Iron Mouse, the one who speaks Habla in Espanol. You know, when this was announced, of course, there's sudden gush of news put me into a motivation to get in touch with its CEO, Gunran, Justin Ignacio, who's part of the founding team of Twitch. And yes, paplagin ko na yung page kung saan yung makikita yung interview ko. It's on the side. So, yeah. Okay, right. it's already four minutes. Four minutes in the recording. Ano? Um, are there any other stuff that uh, happened. Uh, actually, I was watching a replay of this, no? So, uh, as as far as I can see, hindi pa nabigyan ng permiso si Kalayo Pimori ng Atlas to play Persona 3 on her stream. Pero we will get there. We will get there. And yes, that's about it. And uh, more of that will be coming in the future episodes coming next year. So, Look forward to it, and it will be live on Facebook. Links in the description, and also yung podcast natin. All of the podcast episodes are now on YouTube, so do check that out and share your thoughts. We want to have more better discussions come 2020 as we turn off the schedule, throw the calendar away, and just post whatever we want whenever we can and. As much as possible, instead of chasing the schedule, gusto kong habulin yung quality. I want more engaging conversations with people that you probably don't know that are figures in the community. Not just here in the Philippines, but also in our neighboring countries. So, I think that's, that's that will be the goal of the podcast this 2021. And yes, please do look forward to it. Again, lahat ng mga details nasa description. So, with that said, Happy New Year everyone! Jayago ni po! Muli, keepsakes! And see you next year, actually in a few hours!